This video is about constants. So the best way to talk about constants is just to get right into coding. Uh, so I'm going to go to GCSE, uh, gcsecs.com and go to contact slash more and then code editor. Uh, I'll just make this a little bigger and slide that across. Okay, so constants. So it's really simple really. We know what variables are, and if you don't, you need to watch my video on that. But here is a basic, um, a basic variable. Okay, so every game you ever played starts with a score of zero, and along the way, your score will go from zero to ten, and then ten to a hundred, or whatever it is. Okay, so variables have data that can change or vary, right? Which is why variables are called variables because the data inside can change. Constants have data in it which should not be changed, okay? And here is how you declare a constant. So a constant, for example, vowels, okay? Now we know in the English language, in the, in the alphabet, some of the letters are called vowels. Those are A, E, I, O, U. And that's it, I've now declared a constant. Notice number one, that the name is in full capitals. That's how you declare a constant. And number two, the data is in fact something that is constant. Yeah, it, vowels are not A, E, I, O, U, and F, right? That's nonsense. So in, in my entire life, I'm pretty sure those will be the vowels and the other letters will be the constants, okay? So let's try another one. And let's go with weekend. Weekend, okay? Um, so in my life, I think the weekend will always be a Saturday and a Sunday. And there we go, I've now declared my second constant. And let's do another one, mathematical one, pi. Pi, I'm gonna go with 3.1415927. And there we go, so I've now created three constants. You can change the data in as long as you go, but the whole point of it is that number one, it's for the human being. When the human being says, sees your 10,000 lines of code, and it comes across the uh, and the human being sees these ones, they'll go, oh, okay, well, these are constants. I should not change the data inside that constant. Oh, weekend, yeah, yeah, I should not change the data. Oh, pi, yeah, yeah, I can't decide to make pi a different number. No, pi is a constant. And that's it, that's, that's all constants are. They are a data structure, like variables, that hold a value. The only difference is the value should not change. And also you declare it with full capitals. And that's it, okay? So let's have a go at coding with constants. I'm going to try and make um, something that uses pi. So let's say uh, I drop in my pi and I want to do a program that does uh, the area of a circle, okay? So pi is set to 3.141529.27, all right? And I need a radius, so I'm just going to call it r and we'll set it to zero, okay? So my line one is a constant, and my line two is a variable, okay? My line one, the data in it should not change, but in line two, it doesn't that matter, yeah? So I need to ask the human being for a radius, so I'm gonna use a float, uh, and if you don't know what that variable, uh, that data type float is, you need to watch my ver uh, video on that. So float uh, input, and we will ask, uh, so enter, radius, radius, I think that's how you put it, bang, 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 all right, and then we need to do the calculation, so let's have a quick look at what the calculation is, area, let's go for Google on this one, so they've got area of a circle, what's the formula again, so it's pi r squared. So if I type in a value of three, I should get 28.27, yeah? So pi r squared. So area equals pi, which is already defined on line one, times r, which I'm getting in line four, uh, to the power of, which is that, that uh, to the power of two, okay? And then I want to display whatever the area is. Yeah, and maybe with a little string in front that says, uh, area equals. There we go, right? So what have I got? Line one, I've got a constant which holds a value which is never going to change. Line two, I've got a variable that holds a value which will change because in line four, I ask it for whatever the human being wants. 
line five, I did a little calculation with it, and line six, I display the uh, answer. So let's try it out. So if I enter three, I should get 28.27. So run that. Oh, it's value syntax, doesn't like that. I've haven't, I forgot to put the little comma there, which is really important. So let's try it again. Yep, so I enter three, and there we go. Yeah, I get the same result. And that's it, so that is a constant. My line one is an example of a constant. Okay, so here comes a task. Have a go at this task. Okay, so here's a task just called constants. Number one, create a program that uses a constant called pi to hold the float 3.14159 uh, to seven. So we're using a constant here. Number two, uh, declare a variable called r that holds the integer zero. So we need a variable, not a constant, but a variable. Number three, ask the user to input a radius value into the variable r. Okay. Number four, work, uh, work out the circumference of a circle using the formula 2 pi r. Okay, so a different formula this time. All right, 2 pi r. And display circumference equals whatever the formula returns. And that's it. So have a go at that. Press pause and then uh, have a go at that. Okay, so here comes the answer. I'll just move that out of the way. Paste that there, and here we go. So line number one is my constant, which is set to 3.141 and so on, which means I'm never gonna change that. I can't decide to make pi bigger or smaller. That's nonsense. Number two is, uh, line two is just a variable, which is holding a, declaring a, 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 an integer. Uh, line four now asks the uh, asks the user to input. Okay, it's set to an int, but I can change it to a float to make it more interesting. Uh, so asking the user to input a value of their radius. Line five is the formula: two times pi times r, so two times pi, which is on line one, and times the r, which is whatever they inputted in line four. And line six displays the string circumference uh, followed by the actual circumference. So if I run that code and I press, uh, let's go with three again, it's saying my circumference should be 18.84. Let's test that with uh, Google. And hopefully I get the same answer. Yeah, there we go, 18, uh, uh, 18.85. And that's it. So again, the uh, a constant is looks like a variable. The only difference is you write it in capitals and you're declaring it as a constant and that you're saying to other coders who might read your code, please do not change this value. All right, that's the convention. The name of convention is that it's full capitals. And that's it. That's what a, that's what a constant is.